Double Dime Railroad back. Came down and did some work here. It took too long for what it was, but we got it. We finally restored our sound module for the engine house. You can see the camera's not quite right. It's in photo mode. Now it's in video, it's a different zoom. We'll try to get this for you. We'll run through some sounds first, then we'll do the reveal. Got a Max 70 engine in there running. It's really a CSX sitting here. It's supposed to be a crane lift chain, then a generator. Compressor with the air wrench. I think this is a combo. It's supposed to be a crane chains, a lift. Grinder. Generator. And I can bury the sound of the engine up and down. I've got it softened down since his back end's in the in the place. So here we go. Let's see if we can. Calm it down a little bit. Here's a reveal. That's all it is. The ESU Lope Sound module right here. And the speaker here upside down. Kind of helps out if I turn it right side up, it's pretty loud. So I'm gonna try it both ways. I think it's the first time I've run it upside down. It's much more muted. When it's on upside or right side up, it can be a little bit annoying on the layout when you're trying to listen to other engines and things. So I kind of like a muffle like that. There's a board. The regular sound board, ESU Hope sound board. And I soldered. Had to find the wires again, I couldn't figure out. Had three wires stripped back. Had to strip them some more. The white was a headlight. I thought that was part of the power deal. So I got, I looked up a diagram. Found on my phone, red and black, and it worked. So we're back in business there. Put the module back on. It goes up here. About like that. Can't really see it out the back door. The one door is open in the back. Can't really see it. So that's good. Warm works. Try the lights.
So that's to simulate radio traffic in there that they got on the speaker in a shop. Train, uh, train getting crossing protection. So busy little shop there. So we got her going again. Glad to have that back on the layout. Glad to have it back. It's a fun toy to have. Wish I would have had it when my uh, daughter's boyfriend was here to have shown that. Wanted to. But we'll get this video up. He'll get to see it then. So it wasn't too bad. It was a real pain there for a half hour though. Identifying and getting them stripped and springy wires, tiny little things. Very hard to solder up. But we got it. And today I ordered a number six switch left hand from eBay, a new one, Atlas, to go back there on the um, yard where I pointed out yesterday where that number four is. We're going to take him out and stretch it out a little bit and lessen the uh, curve sharpness on the first track going in. That'll be a project next week. That's all for now. Take care. God bless. Stay safe. Double Diamond Railroad. Out.